Hey guys, Oblivion here, coming at you with a deck profile on my Agent and Zector's deck. Um, this is a very, very old build. Uh, I know that a long time ago when, you know, Earth was at 1, I know that Agents and Insectors have been mixed before. Um, but this is something I kind of thought up. Uh, it was it was pretty interesting. I really liked it. I, at first I thought I wasn't going to mix, but then I was like, I, was like, I like it. Um... And it's weird, you kind of have to play it to understand. Um, now that Insectors lost both the Tour Guide engine, including the Sangen, um, there's really no point in using Tour Guides in the deck if, unless you want like a rank 3 Exceed. But that's about it. Um, and Insectors have great level manipulation with uh, Ladybug, so I don't even think you need Tour Guide engine anymore. Uh, so I've tried many different Insector builds and stuff like that. If you guys see me duel on Dueling Network, you guys have probably seen me use this deck most of the time. Um, the deck is, it, it works great. Uh, I really like it. The thing is, sometimes, like, uh, how do I put it? Sometimes you just draw into double shine bars, but that's like regular, you know. Or, but I hate, I hate drawing like Venus or something like that late game when I already used it up. This is mo mostly a uh, Insector Agent Imitation build, um, you know, using Insect Imitation. I feel like that's the fastest way of kind of getting your engine started rather than uh, Mystic Tomato or something like that. Because Mystic Tomato, you know, nowadays they usually just pop setting cards. Like, they usually pop it. So, Mystic Tomato is really just not even worth it in my opinion. So I think that Insect Imitation is the way to go with Insectors. But that's my opinion, and again, it could be debatable. But you know what? Let's stop the talking, and let's just get straight to the deck profile. I'm running one Insector Dragonfly. Insector Dragonfly is an amazing card. He's basically the, um, the main card to get everything else that you need. Um, if you guys don't know what Insectors do, they basically just pop and special summon a lot. Uh, once per turn, you can equip an Insector from your deck. To, uh, I'm sorry, from your hand or uh, gr graveyard to Dragonfly, and you can detach this the you know the card to pop a card, and you usually like to use the Hornet. Um, this is mostly your special summoner. That's all you need to know. Hornet is your popper. Um, you know when it is equipped and when it gets detached by an effect, you get to pop a card. Um, you run one Mantis. Uh, you can get away with running two. I honestly don't see the point with running two because it's searchable by Centipede, which I'm running three of. Centipede is literally the heart and soul of the Insector deck now. Um, you know, it basically carries every insect on its shoulder. It carries the deck on its shoulder. Um, Insector Centipede is basically your searcher of the deck. Um, oh, fuck, what was I going to say? <laughs> um, yeah, so Insector Centipede, searcher of the deck. I, I like Insectors now because they're not meta anymore they're a tier 2 deck in my opinion but they are a budget deck as well and they're still a force to be reckoned with and I actually think that they take a lot more skill you know to play than it used to be played like in March 2012 format um, you know when everything was at 3 and everything was broken but now it takes a lot a lot more skill to play guys so that's one of the reasons why I like Insectors um, I'm also running three Ladybug. Ladybug is a great card for level manipulation. It's also a great card to get your engine started, you know, either by Dragonfly or Hornet or uh, Senti, whatever. Great, great level manipulation. You, you could hit rank fours and rank fives and even sixes in this. I just don't run sixes. Um, for the agent, I mean, yeah, for the agent part of the deck, I'm running two Earths. Uh, he's basically the tuner of the deck, or she's basically the tuner of the deck. If you guys don't know what he does, level 2 tuner, search an ancient monster. And the main the main agent that you search out is Agent of Creation Venus. I usually always open up with uh, with an agent Venus in my hand. Almost always I open up with Venus. Um, the thing is, again, I hate drawing into Venus's like late game when I already got the engine started. It's just such a dead draw. But um, whatever, I, I has to be ran at 3, you know, even though I really do dislike it. Um, three Shine Balls, of course, uh, two Master Hyperion, and one BLS. Yeah. For the spell lineup, I'm running two Insectors Sword Zex Caliber, um, two Insect Imitation. Uh, I love Insect Imitation in the deck. I think it's a great card. I'll be going through the combos, um, 
And it went nah. I'm I'd rather just get the combos out right now. Uh what I like to do is I like to go hit Venus first turn, ask for the effect, and if they say okay, you know, hit the effect three times so you get three Mystic Shine Balls from the hand or from the deck. Uh and you know, it's a great, great card, you know, to get everything started because you go special summon three they're gonna be like oh they're pro he's probably gonna go for a dark mist if you, you first play uh venus so they're like oh they're probably gonna go for dark mist um no you special summon the three uh, you xyz with only two for the gachi gachi so you're left with one you activate insect imitation tribute the one mystic shine mall special summon let's say whatever card you need let's say you need a senti or a dragonfly you mostly go for a dragonfly in my opinion um, you equip a ladybug or a hornet or whatever, and then you skate your special summoning off, and then you get the senti, and then the senti you equips, and then you know you get your search out, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, that's why I like insect imitation. I feel like it's the way to go in insectors now. Um, yeah. So I'm also running three mystical space typhoon, one foolish burial. I'm sorry, one monster reborn, one dark hole, one foolish burial, and one heavy storm. For the trap lineup, I'm running two compulse, uh, one bottomless, two threatening roar. I don't know if I should take this out. I mean, I yeah, I do have the insector, uh, the insector, you know, deck, and you know, threatening roar is is an amazing card in insectors. But remember, this is, um, this is uh, agents and insectors. So usually, I have a gachi on board with a 2,000 attack B Venus and a 2,000 attack Senti and a 1,400 attack Dragonfly. So I I feel pretty comfortable. So, you know, and plus I am running two called Haunteds, if anything, and the Solemns. Uh, for the extra deck, I feel like the extra deck is where I need the most help. Uh, but I'm running two Gachis, one uh, Digusto Phoenix. By the way, this is not a budget deck. I try making it as budget as possible. But you don't really have to run Digusto Phoenix. I, I just run it because I like it, you know. Uh, one Dark Mist, one Zen Mains, one Temp Tempo, one number 17 Leviathan Dragon, one Giga Brilliant, an Abyss Dweller. 39 Utopia, a uh, Maestroke, a uh, Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy, one Tyrius, one Adrius, and one Catastrophe. So I really like this build, guys. It's a very fun build. Please try it out. And you guys, I promise you guys, you guys will not be bored playing this build. It's really fun. You get a ton of OTKs. Um, I've done a lot of different OTKs, and uh, yeah, I still have a lot to learn about Insectors, though. I play them kind of bad. I, uh, sometimes I play them good, sometimes I play them bad. But you know, you live and learn in Yu Gi Oh! And honestly, I, I play Yu Gi Oh! for fun. And I think that people kind of forget that, that you should play Yu-Gi-Oh for fun. It's a game that, you know, got me into when I was a little kid, so it should be played for fun. Um, so, it is, I feel like this deck, it really is a budget deck. I mean, uh, you could get away with playing a Chaos Sorcerer, really. But I feel like the cards that you're mostly going to spend on is a Hornet, Dragonfly, and the Excalibur. That's really about it. You know, and uh, I think, I think common commons? I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I'm really bad with rarity. But honestly, look, two bucks freaking two bucks and five four dollars five bucks whatever but uh yeah those are the most expensive cards in the main deck and the and the extra deck you don't have to run uh phoenix so i'm gonna take that out there um i mean you could run dark mist but again you don't have to usually use the third shine ball for insect imitation anyways and Gaga -ga -ga cowboy you don't have to i barely go into rank fours and I like just Taster, you really don't have to. You could get away with running a magical android. Honestly, I don't even go into synchros that much. But um anyways guys, that's the Agent and Zector deck that I've been running and I kinda wanna continue running because it's very fun. Um hopefully you guys enjoy. And I'm sorry if you guys hear the white noise. Again, I'm recording from my computer which sucks major dick. Um but again, hopefully you guys enjoy. Please leave me some feedback and this has been Oblivion guys. Oh wait, one more thing before I go. I am trying a lot of variants of Insector, so you guys are probably gonna be seeing a lot more deck profiles. I am trying a ninja variant that my friend the hacks factory um I will be leaving a link to his channel. He gave me the idea for it and I might be trying that build out. And if you guys want I could give you standard insectors with Armageddon Knights and uh Mr. Tomatoes and stuff like that, if you guys want. But anyways guys, I feel like this is the most competitive one, it's the most consistent one. So please guys try it out. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This has been Oblivion. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, most important, comment down below on the deck. Anyways guys, catch you guys later.